Okay, so on this episode about crystals, we're going to talk about how to cleanse your crystals. So this is something I also learned from the Energy Muse website, and then when I um, got together and met up with Heather and Temi, uh, that your crystals, um, I'm going to take off one of my bracelets as an example, your crystals absorb energy. So it's part of the thing that, you know, living things do, which crystals are, um, is they absorb the energy of things around them, people around them, your energy, everybody else's energy, who's in the room, and things like that. So it's really important to cleanse your crystals. Now, I like to do, you can do them as often as you want, really. I like to do mine once a week. Um, so, and then I also like to leave my crystals in the sunlight when I'm not... Um, at home for the ones that stay at home. So there's some directions for cleansing your crystals that I got from the Energy Muse website. I'm going to share with those with you here now. So the first uh, kind of direction they gave me for cleansing your crystal is to set the crystal in the soil or on the branches if it's light enough. This one's kind of heavy, but for something like this, you can set it in the branches or you know in the um, like leaves or whatever, wherever it would hold it. Uh, of a house plant that's healthy or in the soil in the bottom of the house plant or a plant outside. So kind of just setting that in there for 24 hours, setting your crystals there and letting them kind of reset and get cleansed. Um, and then I put my crystals in a little bowl and put them in direct sunlight or direct moonlight for four hours. So that's also another cleansing technique. And the other thing you can do is take your crystals Here's an Aventine, and I just put um, sage. I would do it right now, but I, I'm in a small room, and <laughs> getting saged out right now is kind of not my thing when I'm talking, because it sometimes makes me cough. Um, but I just hold sage that's been lit and then blown out that's smoking, or a Palo Santo stick underneath the crystal, and allow the um, smoke to go directly into the crystal. And when the smoke starts to kind of go around it and run really clear, um, that's when I feel like it is uh, cleansed. So those are the three steps that I like to do that cleanse my crystals. You can also put them in running water. Like for my jewelry, um, my crystal jewelry, I wear it all during the shower and the bath. So it gets a, it gets a cleansing then. But I also do this with all my crystal jewelry, um, stuff like these guys so they can make sure to get reset and then I reset my intention on each of them. So I like to do that just to make sure that the crystals are happy and healthy just like me. So that's how to cleanse your crystals. Check out the Energy Muse website for more information and subscribe here to my YouTube channel for more info on fashion, beauty, and life and crystals. See you guys on the next episode. Check you later. Bye.